What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 7 for my playthrough on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So guys, in the last episode, the townspeople found out that we are actually a human trapped inside a Pokemon's body, and they chased us off, and we ended up at Mount Blaze. This is where we are at, and in this video, we're going to be moving along, scaling Mount Blaze, and defeating Moltres, the fire legendary bird. But before we do end up going into Mount Blaze, we got to make sure we are ready. We got to deposit some items, make sure we can get rid of some stuff right here. And be ready for this big boss fight. So, because we got like a big 15 floor little dungeon right here, we're gonna gonna get rolling with that. We got some max ethers, all that. I'm gonna get rid of this efficient band. Uh, what else do I want to get rid of? I got some orbs. I might not want all the orbs. We're gonna get rid of these plain seeds. What else do we want to get rid of? Escape orb. I think we'll get rid of escape orbs. We don't really want to escape here. We got the foe hold orb. What's this do? Uses it. Makes all the enemies in the floor petrified. Okay. Okay. The effect continues until they take damage. That's, uh, that's not bad. I mean, we really don't need it if they just take damage from it. We got Reviver Seeds. We're going to keep them on us. We have Ross Berries as well. We're going to keep them on us. We have Apples, Elixirs, Orange Berries. I think we're chilling with that. I think we get rid of all these items. I think we wanted to pot or withdraw some items right here. And get something to maybe like paralyze something along those lines. Or we got Stun Seeds. We got all this good stuff. We're going to take some things and going to stun Moltres. Do some work. So what we got? We got Escape. We got any good orbs? Reset orbs. Slow Wands. Not bad. Waving it. Uh, we're gonna go with a slow wand. We're gonna take out. We're gonna take out two of these. We're gonna take out two slow wands, and then we're gonna go take out. Bum, bum, bum. What do we want? What do we want, baby? Stun seeds and blast seeds. Let's take out two blast seeds here. Let's take out one blast seed. I'll take out one blast seed, and then we'll go into a sleep seed. And a bum, bum, bum. there's violent seeds. Eating it boosts your attack, and special attack a lot. This effect lasts as long as you are. That's not bad. I might actually take out a violent seed. Hmm. Hmm. That's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I got Sleep Seed on us. Uh, we're going to bring out a Violent Seed. I said we do bring out a Violent Seed. Or no, let's bring out this Sun Seed. Let's bring out the Sun Seed, and we'll save the Violent Seed for maybe something later. But let's get rolling into Mount Blaze here, yo. Let's go. Trico, are you ready? Uh, heck yeah, we are. Let's get rolling, yo. I cannot wait. Why does it say, where where should we go? Mount Blaze or Rock Band? Yo, we're going to Mount Blaze here. I'm trying to verse Moltres and get rolling here. Because I know... In this path, I think it's like four, it's like 14 to 15 floors, this one. But we're going to struggle a little bit because it is fire. It is fire. It is nice and heat up here. And I am a grass type. So I'm going to be struggling a little bit here. If I had a fire Pokemon, I can walk through that lava, but I cannot. Okay, so we're going to have to go around. That's just a path just taking us out. I can't walk through it. Well, there we go, Max Adlers. We're going to need them. But the only thing that stinks about being out... Oh, yo, a Nummel! Yo, it's a Nummel, bro. I would love to get one on my team. I don't think we can re really recruit anything here. <gasps> Oh, dude, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be a terrible thing right here. All these fire Pokemon. I'm going to struggle so much. I'm going to be have to rely on my Mudkip here and use my range moves against these things. Mudkip tees off here. Let's roll. Anything over here? We're going to drop down here. They can't. Uh, they can probably walk across the lava. Yeah, they can. I see them moving on the map. Those hunks of junk. We got those tiles. I'm looking for these stairs, bro. What are these stairs? There's the stairs, but I want this item. Pokedala. Oh, we got these enemies right here. Can I hit them? Is that a Magby? Is that a Magby? Why does he look so big? Get him! Get him up! That a boy, Kipper. Dude, Kipper tees off. Ooh, Slugma here. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Iron Tail, we gotta do some big damage on him. Mugkip, hit him with that water gun, baby. Take him out. So I'm gonna, for this, I'm gonna wanna keep Mugkip's health, or not health, his uh, PP in his uh, water gun rather high so he can protect me with that water gun shooting across and all that. And I'm gonna wanna keep my range moves rather high as well. Ooh, Kelkion Chop. Do I make my way over to that Kelkion shop? That could be nice. Let's go Iron Tail. Iron Tail's gonna become a clutch for us to do some big damage against these uh, fire Pokemon. Ooh, he smogged me. So I'm gonna just kick a drain and finish him off. Oh, still did 28. That's not bad for not very effective move. We'll take that. But dude, there's a Kelkion shop. I really wanna go to it. I really do wanna go to it. Let's head over there. Let's get to it. What you want, Mag? Uh, we can't. We can't hit that thing. Oh, yo, he says Ember shoots that far. Uh, I kind of wanna step out of his range here. Let Mudkip do some work. I'm gonna step down here again. No way you hit me with an ember. Okay, cool. He goes after it on that side. I can tee off over here. Go for a dragon breath. But yeah, I want to make my way over to that Kelkion shop. I believe this is the only thing that we are gonna be doing in this episode, as it's gonna be a rather long dungeon. If we can actually finish up this dungeon, there's a sleeping Magby. I'm not messing with it. I'm making my way to the Kelkion shop. Let's step back here. Step back again. Oh yeah, we're getting like cornered over here. I really have to play this one a little bit strategically. My kip's getting teed off on while well, he's pinched so i'm gonna just help him out with these dragon bass but kip's fine he'll be able to eat up these shots and all that smog's gonna pop here i can step to the side now and protect kip there we go where kip can just do everything on his own yeah he's gonna thrive here what's all the way over here i see oh here's a kelkion shop this is a big kelkion shop floor that's what it is Jeez, look how big his floor is 
But yeah, this dungeon's gonna be rather long, so I think this is what we're gonna be fitting in today's video. It's gonna be fun, just all dungeon in it, dungeon it, it out. I just want to suck him up. Good thing you're hitting him. I'm not messing with you. It's so annoying. These fire Pokemon, of course, with Trico. Can't wait until we go to like a nice little water place. Eventually, we will get to that. The little water place is where I can thrive at. Now let's roll. Okay, Ornberry's orbs. I want to check out those orbs. Because some orbs are really good. First seal orb, I do not want that. And a thought orb. Use you you to get pulls all items to the floor to you. You can pull items from from a shop though. Oh, you can't. Okay, okay. So these uh, this is this was a waste of my time. I'm headed back. <laughs> Such a waste of my time. Kelkion, your items stink. I'm gonna sprint back here. Get rolling. I grabbed some apples, right? Do I have apples? Yeah, okay. Just gotta make sure. We got a nice little ways to go. There's an enemy in front of me. I'm gonna see if this can reach. It does not reach. He's probably gonna step up. There he is. What's good, dog? Hit him with that. Water gun should be able to pop out. Boop! And that should be takeout. Let's roll. Let's roll, Kip. I just wasted my time going through there. We're only on the second floor, bro. We got like 15, I think. I think it's 15. It's 14 to 15 floors, this thing. Mount Blazeby. What is this? What we got here? Trigger picked up grimy food. I don't even know what grimy food does. I think it's like crappy food. I think you can eat it, but it doesn't really do too much. Oh, I wish we had a fire Pokemon to walk through that. That'd have been tight nice. What you want, Nummo? I can reach you from here, my dude. Yeah, what you want? What you want? Dragon Breath coming through. Keep focus energy. I can definitely quick attack that range. Yep. And my kit will take him out. Let's roll. We're gonna, I think we're getting pinched here. I gotta watch myself. Actually, no, we're not. We're chilling. Uh, I'm gonna step back here. I'd rather get cornered here and then have these range moves on him. Uh, Kip can handle that on his own, so I'm gonna start teeing off on this Magby. I'm gonna give him a max elixir right here. Oh, once we hit this, once we hit the stairs. Um, I think Quick Attack could potentially KO. Oh, we get that level up. 22? Is that 22, baby? Or Trico, yes, sir. Any new, any new moves? I don't think so. We just learned Mega Dream. Or not Mega Dream, Giga Dream. Which actually very well. And then I'm just gonna finish him off with a nice little Giga Dream. Try to level up that move a little bit. Bro, we missed. Get out of here. Alright, let's roll. Let's roll, baby. Ooh, Magby, what you want? Iron Tail. Yo, yeah, yeah. It teed off on. Oh, double Iron Tail. Get out of my face. You don't leer me. I Luckily, there's a tile right there to help us out. Get my stats back to normal. Let's step up here. Oh! Magnitude, that's such a cool move. <gasps> I'm gonna step back. <laughs> what did he just do, dude? I am terrified. I'm gonna step behind Kip. I need to step behind Kip. Kip's gotta have that frontline protection for me. Let's go, mud bomb him. Yes, sir, take him out. I'm gonna quick attack him. Are you got me? Finish him with a mud bomb. Flame. Okay, yes. That's why I got that Kip in front of me. Nice little crit. That thing's still alive. Jeez. He's eating up today. Let me return my stats to normal and find these stairs. Oh, my enemies. So these fire enemies don't you dare ember me. I'm gonna tee off with Dragon Breath. Take him out. Thank you, Kip. I do have to give some max enders to Kip. We're that water gun back. We'll go this way. We got items over here as well. Can I walk through this? Yes. We got Link Box and Poke Toys. I'll grab them both. Do it. Bump bomb. And Kip, be my protection, dog. Help me out. Quick attack. So many enemies here. Tons of enemies. All right, let's roll. Uh, let's keep... Uh, no, I told you. Once I find the stairs, I won't give Kip the max ender. Where are the stairs at? I bet you they were to the left side, and I'm going to be mad when I can't find them. Yeah, look, we gotta go all the way back around. <laughs> like, I'm already down to 32 hunger, and we're only on the third floor. Like, we are struggling out here. We're struggling. Here's the stairs. Let's get rolling. I'm not messing with you. I'm not messing with you, Slugma. We're getting out of here. Now, Blaze, fourth floor. Kip, I'm gonna give you that max ether, like I said. You don't need a max elixir. You only need an ether right now. We'll give it to Wata Guy. Here you go, my dude. All right, let's roll. Let's sit down real quick. Where's the floors at? What you want, Slugma? Slugma's dope. I wish we can befriend Pokemon. I feel like we can't do it as we're on the journey and we're away from town. I feel like we're just uh, teeing off, getting XP. Because it's all up to me and Kit. Floor here? No, nope. Poke Dollar though. Mine. 60? Oh, we're getting hungry though. We're getting hungry, hungry. I can go for a nice little sausage, egg, and cheese, baby. <laughs> right, what's down here? We got anything? Where's the floor at? It's gotta be over where all these enemies are at. Do you want Magby? I'll hit you with this. Go ahead, take a step up. Oh, we paralyze him. Uh, Kip, what's that? There we go, another dragon breath. Kip, I'm gonna step up here. I'm gonna go for a quick attack. This should be able to kill. I gave you water gun, so yeah, he should be able to tee off with that. Then my iron tail should just be able to finish him off. Oh, we got double iron tail. Bam, bam. Um, do I sneak here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give a peek. The floor here? Two Pokemon sleeping? Yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna walk up here. Grab both the coins and go into the floor. Floor five, baby. We're one third away there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is going to be tough here. 
Sun comes out in Mount Blaze. To some places, the power of fire type attack and moves goes up, and the power of water type attack and moves go up. We're gonna why the Pokemon won't get frozen. Oh my lord! This is just this is just tough news for us. This is tough news for us, to be honest with you. Eat this. Go, Trico, eat it. Wow, this is honestly tough. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to eat a Max Ether as well. I'm going to need this range move. I really am going to need these range moves with the Dragon Breath and the Water Gun. Oh my god, water moves are going to do less? Oh, we struggling, yo. This, my team does not thrive for this. At all. It's like the biggest counter to our team. It's going to be this Sun. Right, we got a... Got him chilling here. A quick attack him. Boop. Mudkip, step up. Thank you. 30 damage. That's still not bad. 30 damage isn't bad at all. And Iron Tail can do a little bit more damage. Let's roll. I see a Pokemon coming up here. It's a Slugma again. We had a crit. I can Dragon Breath again. Use that Max Ether, baby. We got double kill. Thanks to crit. Oh, he's hard on me. Okay, I'm going to step back. And I have Kip have that front end. I'm going to just actually go here. Waste a turn. Yeah, have him move into me. And then go into here. That's my Iron Tail. Oh, no, he had boost defense. That's why. But we dropped it. Let's roll. Where are them stairs at, though? Where are them stairs at? Where are them at? Uh, I'm going to guess this way. I've seen an item here as well. Let's go up. Let's go up. Stairs this way? Hmm? 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 Where are your stairs at? Run! Onward! Bro, there they are. There they are. We found them. Let's go. Dude, this game is too much fun. I'm having so much fun. I seriously hope you guys are enjoying the content. I didn't even get a chance to say this in the beginning. I'm just so hyped. If you are enjoying the content, especially on the series, make sure you smash that like button for me. Seriously, it goes a long way. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you guys doing? We just passed 2,000 subs. Thank you guys so much. That is that is awesome. That is awesome. I can't believe it. Who would have thought your boy passed 2,000 subs? Our next goal is 3,000, I guess. Oh my god, dude. Floor's right here. There's Kelkan Shop. <gasps> I got step. I just got teed off there. He's gonna harden. I'm gonna step back right here. I don't really want to be in his range. I kind of want to. If he if he steps up, I'll let him step up. Let's see. If he yeah, if he steps up, I'll let him step up and do do damage to him. But yeah, Kip's just gonna tee off here. Oh, Kip's actually taking some nice damage. Uh, I'm gonna waste a turn here. Can he step? There we go. He steps. And I'm gonna take him out. Double quick attack. Oh, we're doing like poo poo damage. Give me that coins. I really want to go to that Kelkan shop. I'm gonna risk it. It's right here. <gasps> Is that a Pidgeot? It's a Pidgeot! That thing's gonna tee off on me though. Gonna have to iron a double Pidgeot, dude. That's insane. Okay, oh, take him out. Bro, dude, Pidgeots are here. I'm gonna waste a turn. See where he's gonna move. There we go. I'm gonna iron him up. I probably should have Giga Drain. But hopefully Kip can take him out here. Oh, quick attack tees off on me. But Giga Drain, we should be chilling with our overgrow ability. Do nice little 36 get 18 HP back. Finish him off. And then what we got over here? So we got some orbs, some seeds. Let's check it. Wiggly tough. No, I don't want that. Uh, nullify. Okay, nullify's abilities of all. Now I don't really need that. Torrent makes enemies in the same room confused for a while. I'm gonna pick this one up. We're gonna pick that up. What we got here? Tiny Reviver. I drop. No, do not want that. I want the apple though. I'm gonna actually have Kip tee off on that thing while we shop. <laughs> uh, Kip, I got you. Kip, I actually got you. I'm gonna give Kip an orange berry. Here you go, buddy. Eat it, Kip. So I gotta have him tee off there. We need more orange berries here because our health is rather getting low, but we do have Reviver Seeds, which is nice. He should be fine. He should be able to eat that one up and then finish him off with another water gun. Beautiful. Oh, no, you missed. Kip, I'm not giving you another orange berry. Just finish him off here. Just finish him off. We're going to pick up this apple, though. Kip, you're still fighting that thing? Get him out of here. All right. Now, yo, what? Why did he, he just did, like, a weird step? That's weird. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. We got what we wanted. We're out of here. We defeated two Pidgeotos. Please come again. Yo, you know it. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go here. We have a Pidgeot chasing our back again. Eighth floor. Oh, double Poke Dollars. Don't mind if I do. I just can't die because I have to keep all these uh, Poke Dollars. I'm going to tee off on him. I got Max Ether for you right here, my dude. Oh, he just ran out. He just ran out of Poke Dollars. Can we paralyze this thing? That'd be nice. There you go, Kip. Nice step, buddy. Nice step, Kip. Kip steps up to the side. I'm actually giving this Max Ether in just a second. I'm actually giving give it to him right now so we can uh, throw something at him. How many Max Ethers do we have? We have a decent amount. Plus, we have some Max Elixirs as well. I'm chilling. I don't mind giving them this because I really need this to survive and help me out. Dude, of course, it's Pidgeots and Fire Pokemon. Like, all this tees off on my mug, on my Chico. Not my mug, Kip. Like, they honestly both just tee off. But we need to get some HP back from the Kip by walking around. I'll step up here. Do not have a shot. Kip's got the angle. Yes, sir, Kip. He's going to agility. I'm going to actually let him move. Oh, I think speed and moving. Uh, I think Iron Tail KO. Oh, we get double Iron Tail. You love to see it, baby. 
Let's go. Level up for Mudkip. Let's go. Mudkip to level 22. Get all that stats boosted. 60 HP. Not bad, Kip. Not bad, dude. Onward. There's the stairs. I'm a... No, I'm going to actually take a turn face forward. I'm going to take a turn. Can he slide down? Take another turn. Oh, I'm going to actually step back. I'm going to step back. I can't I can't afford to get hit by a... What's it called? A, like, wing attack or something? Oh, nice job. Double attack for Kip. Takes him out. What item we got here? That's a pebble. Rock. Whatever we want. We don't want it. The ninth floor. To the ninth floor. Okay. Sun's out. Oh! Let's go, Kip. That's all water. I'm only doing 18 damage now. I'll quick attack. Let's step forward, Iron Tail. Okay. Oh, another Kelkion chop, dude. They're all here today. What we got here? I really don't want another apple. Don't feel like wasting my money on apples. Hmm. I want nothing. I want none of this. Actually, I might. No, we should be chilling on the apples and all that. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. We find we find some gold. Apple's gonna be nice, especially because I don't know when we go back to town, so I might as well stack up. Put them in my storage at least. Yo, dude, there's a Torkoal here. Step back. Yo, what you want, Torkoal? There we go. Give him that angle. I'm gonna take a turn here. Have him step up. Torkoal, yo. Torkoal's scaring me, bro. Ember's gonna pop. I think I'm just gonna slide over here. I should be able to finish off him off, actually. Give me that apple. Give me that apple, because we're gonna have to eat one soon. Can I eat it here? No, I don't, I don't want I don't want to do that, because I don't want something to happen. I'd rather buy it and then go into that. <laughs> because I don't want to eat it and then him think I'm just stealing it and not paying for it. <laughs> yo, let's eat this one. There we go, yo. Dude, the hot sun's just kicking our butt, dude. Ban it. Ah, I'm down here. More Poké Dodge. Yeah, see, yo, we already make it back our Poké Dodge. Just want to head down this way. There's an enemy on our tail. Who is it? Kip. We took a step back. We got to fight him now. I can hit him with my Dragon Breath. And we can actually get a power-up move thing. Oh, nice. Get that paralyzed. Kip's going to hit him with a water gun. Crit take him out? Yes, sir. Let's step on this panel right here. And we'll get moving. I love that panel. It, it boosts his levels of move or... Your moves will level up quicker. Can you use them? Can I angle that? No, I don't have a good angle. Now I have a good angle. What you want? Dragon Breath, baby. Oh, nice little paralyzed, too. I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do up against this, uh... This Moltres. I really am. I'm thinking of what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to, like, confuse it, paralyze it, something along those lines, and just start teeing off with them. Because we don't have, like, enough ant or allies to just go after it and start murking on them. Because it's just me and Mudkip here. Sun's back out, dude. God dang it. Sugma's sleeping. I'm not going to mess with that Sugma. I'm going to push Mudkip back here. And I'm going to step up again. I'm going to push him back. All right, beautiful. Now we have this angle on him. Mudkip, can Mudkip hit from there? My Dragon Breath tees off. And I can click it back and finish off. I have one more Dragon Breath. I don't want to fight that thing. I just want to keep moving forward here. Let's go up. Let's go up. Dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it. Oh, there's items over here. But can we get there? Yeah, we got to go this way. Nah, it's throwing me off. Nice little items over here. Uh, Mudkip's gonna be able to hit him. We got Poké Dollars, dude. Oh, the good Poké Dollars. He withdraws, his defense goes up. We're gonna get a pop here. That might be able to KO. No, it does not. I'll finish him off here. With my last Dragon Breath. And this other one will step up. I'm gonna slide over. I'm gonna withdraw. I'm gonna take a turn, see if he steps up. There we go. He steps up. So you can just take a turn just by pressing the A button in a direction where nobody's at. It's pretty nice. He's gonna smog me. Now I need a Giga Drain to get some HP back. 27, not bad. Not bad. 27 is not bad. Another Giga Drain. Oh. Sir. 14. Get you back and finish them off. Um, so I'm out of... I gotta use a Max Ether. I gotta use a Max Ether. Where are they at? Do we have any? What do we have? What sword? So we have... Hmm. Where's my Ether at? We have two Ethers and Elixir. I'm gonna use an Ether on my Dragon Breath. Drink that, baby. Give it to me. Let's get that. This Dragon Breath's going to be huge. going to be huge. Rolling out. Here's the stairs. What happened? Okay, there we go. It wasn't letting me move for a second. I'm gonna just head to the stairs. Actually, Mudkip already hit him. I do not want to go on. I'd rather get this XP while we're here. Mudkip already teed off on him a little bit. And then get a crit. Dude, look at that. Dude, just punk on him. Take him out. Now we can get moving to 411. Mount Blaze, baby. Oh, dude. These, this, that's the best. When you spawn right on the stairs. But I kind of want some items here. Let's step back. Get in line. Yeah, I want to get those items. There's three items up there. So I'd rather get, grab them real quick and then tee off from there. Oh, dude, why did I think he was in front? I could just drag him breath him easily. I'll just Giga Drain him. He dropped his, uh, he has no water gun. Um, let's see if we can find anything up here. Poké Dollars, split, Mudkip. Oh, 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 Um, I'm gonna back off, see if he goes down. I'm gonna keep backing. He's not gonna go down. I'm gonna slide this way. There we go. Now we got him cornered. Now we got him cornered. Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb does work on him as well. Fire Spin. 
It's fine. I'll be able to hit him with this. I really don't want to mess. There's two other Pokemon over near that other Poke Dollar. So I'm going to grab this one and then we're going to roll out here. Let's go. Don't fight him. Don't fight him, Kip. No, Kip! Kip, I said don't fight him. Now I got to step up. All right, Kip's chilling. Kip's got it. He's just teeing off. He went doubling up. All right, so he's out of Mud Bombs. I might actually Max Elixir him. Let's see. Let's get Dragon Breath. We have, we have plenty of them in our storage, Max Elixir, so I might as well use them on both. Oh, yo. Oh, hold the phone. Hold the phone. I'm going to finish you off. Can you finish off that Slugma? Oh, my God. Oh, he's dead. Okay, we're going to have to use a Reviver Seed. We got, we got a few of them. That's fine. Come here, baby. Give me that. All right, finish him off, Kip. Oh, you. Kidding me, Kip? My Kip's only down to tackle, and this thing has a defense boost as well. All right, let's go to this floor, see what's going on, and then we're going to get rolling here. Well, then we're going to use, like, Max Elixirs. I don't think there's, like, halfway points or anything, so, yeah. Let's actually start giving some items away. Max Elixir. Kip. I, I stacked up on these beforehand, so I don't mind using them at all. I'm going to actually... I'm not going to give one to me just yet. I think we're fine. We might have to eat one more apple. But let's go, dude. This sun is crazy. Uh, Turtle behind us. Mukip's going to take on the Turtle. Okay, we're going to push back on him. He's got him. He has Water Gun now. Even though, dude, it would probably do like 40 damage if we weren't in a drought. Like, it's just helping him out so much, this drought. Just everything is against us. Oh, Kip, you're fighting this one now? <laughs> we're going to get cornered here. I got you, though. I got you, though. We're chilling. I got Dragon Best on deck. Yeah, I'll give another Max Elixir to Trico in a little bit. Boost all of his moves. Now we got an enemy right here. Oh, my lord. An Arcanine. And we're getting up into the high floors here. I'm actually tee off on this thing. I got him with the Paralyze, which is nice. And I can just finish him off with another Dragon Breath. Oh my lord, yo. Ah! What is this? What's this thing's problem? Yes, step in front of Kip shots. Right, take a shot, buddy. I'm actually just going out here and wasting his turn. See if he moves up. There we go. And then Iron Tail should be able to hook him up. We're out of that. Let's go. Dude, Arcanines are here. This is insane. Oh, another wand. What, what, what is that? A stay away wand. Okay. We are hungry. I know that for a fact. Oh, the weather goes clear. So that's what happens when the, uh, the light goes away. The drought ending. Okay. Now I can roll to the floor. 413. Oh, we got a little halfway mark. Cool, cool, cool. Then I didn't use, need to use max elixirs and all that. We got a little halfway mark. I can deposit some items, bring some out. Let's get rid of these rocks. Get out of your rock. Get out of your rock. Um, let's sort them first. This is all sorted. So we have one, what's called left? One apple left, which I think we're fine with. Uh, Next other, what else? We, how many reviver seeds? We only have one. I have two blast seeds. I think I might want to pull out. What's going on? Let's get rid of these link boxes. Um, hmm. Let's get rid of this plain seed. And then let's just drop that. And then let's go into withdrawal items. I kind of want to get another reviver seeds. How many reviver seeds? We have four. I'm going to pick up one more. And then bum, bum, bum. we have two blast seeds, which is going to be nice. I have sleep seeds as well on me. Reset orbs. We have orbs. Slow one. I think I brought slow ones. Let me check my items. Oh, wait, no. I wanted to withdraw some, some uh, orange berries. I'm going to withdraw all my orange berries. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. If we have them, we'll put them away later. Hmm. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. The thing is, you get really stuck in these dungeons for a while. Say if you're not prepared and you keep dying, you lose all your items that you have. And you kind of just start going down, crumbling down without, without any items. And then you can't really do much until you just keep battling and get lucky. But yeah, let's go on. Let's get it. I feel like I'm ready for this. Like, this game is actually, like, harder than a lot of people expect it to be. To be honest. We're chilling. He's going to Ember. I'm going to step up here. That should be able to go before him. Oh, and Mudkip's going to double up in Water Gun. He has a Drought, which is scary. Head down here. What do we got here? More money. We're racking up the money. We are racking up the Pokey Dollars. Dude, this is nice. Some nice soothing music here. At the Mount Blaze Peak. But the enemies are a lot stronger, especially when you hit the peaks, when you get in the higher floors. Like, as you guys can tell, we're starting to get Arcanines. Yeah, double quick attack, should be able to KO. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. I think we have, like, two more floors left. So the peak, the last couple floors are the hardest. Bam, 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 bam. This screen's bright. My screen's bright with the sun going on here. Oh, I'm going to step back. <laughs> I ran up too quick. But, yeah, I have, like, my brightness and everything turned down on my PC, so it doesn't really re reflect on my face. But this screen is just bright with everything. With all the, the fire, the orange colors. Now I gotta watch out for this Arcanine down here. Oh, we'll step out. We're gonna have to fight him. He's gonna be on our tail anyway. But like that. There you go. Beautiful. Now we got him in a good position. We got me and Kip with the range moves. 
though it's really good to know like positioning in this game for sure and how to take your steps so you can angle better let's run this way where are the stairs at stairs are on this floor we got these poke dollars someone's asleep i'm gonna run past them i'm gonna run past them torkoal keep napping dude keep napping i believe we have one more floor here we're on floor 14 we're gonna have to fight this arcanine in the sun i'm gonna let kip take a shot at him and see how he moves i'm gonna move up now Watch out, kip and now i can just iron tail oh he missed that's scary kip go again Oof. ah oh my lord oh my lord that is a ridiculous amount of damage one tap me i am terrified of this moltres this thing is going to be able to slap up on me if he hits me once i am basically dead because there's got to be a drought up in there kidding me all right we gotta step back oh my lord yeah like we had to play this one so good we're gonna play this one so good it's gonna be so challenging for my team oh Ooh, baby i'm kind of no i kind of want to go up even though i see an enemy here i really do want to just go up we're gonna have to fight this arcanine i'm gonna go here like diagonal cut and i'm gonna have to step up wake him up and drop back go kip mm. i don't want to waste tiny reviver seed we got we gotta we gotta give him an orange berry you gotta take this one on your own. For sure. I can't step up to him. That that fang is gonna do way too much damage. The stairs are right there. Under oh, no, fang, you hunk of junk. Got Kip. Yeah, we gotta give him another one. Oh my lord. Got Kip. I need you to take this thing out. Can he not move at all? Kip, take him out right here. Thank you. Oh my lord, we got more enemies coming here. I gotta angle these boys out. Take a step up. Where's these guys at? Right, I'm gonna start teeing off on this thing. I cannot get to that floor. Oh my lord. Start teeing off on it. A quick attack and finish off. Is that another Arcanine coming in the back end? Yep, I'm gonna step here. Step down. Oh my lord. I think Kip should be able to survive this shot. Oh, no, he roared. Okay, that's fine. It's actually better for us. And then a Dragon Bath should be able to finish it off. <gasps> we missed. Come on, Iron Tail. Connect. Yes. Okay, finish him. Oh, we missed that. It was a Thunder Fang. Come on, finish him off. Oh, thank the Lord. Um, I'm actually going to give him... I think when you go into a boss floor, I think we're chilling. I think we get our PP back up to the top. Yeah, this is it. Oh, my Lord. This is insane. This is insane. It's going to be so tough. Hopefully we can beat this thing first try. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural cal calamities. Ooh, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. I don't want to spend any time in this dangerous place. Let's get through this quick. Let's go and halt. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Here we go. I can hear the mountain screams. It's a shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Blaze to wither in agony. Is it you? Oh, baby. Uh-oh, here we go. Dude, this is going to be insane. Look at that. Moltres, yo. Are you kidding me? That is so sick. That is so sick. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres, warrior of fire I am. There's no forgiving those who befoul the mountain and guard it. What's up? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dan, 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 dan. First off, let's go to our toolbox. Stun seed. You throw it and hit him, you can make him petrified. This, con this condition lasts till they uh, take damage. Sleep seed. I'm going to throw this at him. Put that thing to sleep. That thing woke up already? some nice damage oh no he's agility um i'm gonna go with a totter orb i'm gonna go with a totter orb i'm gonna send that confuse him that's gonna help us out hopefully he starts missing some attacks yeah look he's going that way with the embers now i go in my toolbox and throw these blast seeds at him i gotta play this one like very good blast seeds popping out i have one tiny reviver seed. did i just eat the blast seed god dang it i meant to throw it <gasps> he's not paralyzed anymore i still have a tiny reviver seed do I go in the orange berry? Do I even have an orange berry? I'm gonna wave this at him. There we go. Confuse him again. 
Oh, I'm burned. Yeah, we're gonna use this on me. Thank you. Now he's missing attacks. I gotta throw the, the blast seeds at him. Blast seed. Throw it. Watch how much damage he does. Yeah. 75! Big damage. He's still confused like crazy. Um, I'm gonna try to maybe paralyze him with this Dragon Breath. He missed, of course. He's gonna tee off on me. <gasps> okay, he hits Mudkip. Oh no, he hit me too. Oh god, we have one. I think that we have one more tiny Reviver Seed, right? Do I have any other Blast Seeds on me? This thing uses Agility first turn. Um, Plain Seed, what do I have? I'm gonna have to throw a, uh, a Confused one again. I might even have to wave this at him. Yay! <laughs> Get him! Tee off on him! Okay, yes, he's missing attacks. Dragon Breath. Can we get a Paralyze on him? Getting off. He's back to normal. Take him out. Come on. Ember. Oh! I gotta confuse him again. I have to confuse him again. Oh, my lord. This is coming down the wire. We have, like, no health. Give me a, uh, Confuse one again. Wave that, boy. Yay! He got out of it? Take him out, Kip. <gasps> oh! No! No! Are you kidding me? We just got smacked on by that Moltres, but we made our way back here. Um, something that I wanted to do is go here. I want to go to status real quick. No, not status. I want to go to move settings. I want to go to move settings, and I want to have Kipper uh, assign moves on and off. So we're going to do this real quick. So I want Mud Bomb off, Water Gun, and this off. I want him to use Rain Dance right off the bat. So I'm going to have him use Rain Dance right off the bat. And then we're gonna have him, uh, and we're gonna take a step back. So that's what we're going to do. So now I'm gonna take a step back. He should use Rain Dance. Yeah. Okay, so now he uses Rain Dance. I gave him Rain Dance as a TM to kind of help us out here a little bit. And now I'm gonna go back to move settings and have him only use Water Gun. Oh, no, you know what? I'm just gonna assign moves on and off. I'm gonna take that off. Actually, I'm gonna just put him on. He's probably just gonna use, going to use Water Gun regardless. I have no items. I legit have no items. Like, I will show you guys my box. I might have like one. What is it? A gravel rock. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we do from here. So I think maybe we just go for a nice dragon breath. Maybe try to get a paralyze here. Let's get him. Done. Oh yes. Let's go. Paralyze right off the bat. Water gun's gonna be able to do some big damage. So I hope he just keeps teeing off here. I'm just gonna keep sending this. Keep doing work here. We keep losing more PP because of the uh, the what's it called ability, the pressure ability. But Mudkip's just teeing off here. I'm just gonna keep throwing these uh, dragon breaths and try to get the paralyzed. No, we do not get the paralyzed. Pressure keeps taking down our things. Alright, Ember, he's gonna be able to eat up. Let's keep teeing up. How much HP does this thing have? We keep throwing stuff at it. I wish I had like blast seeds or something to do some work. 81, nice little crit damage. Fire spin. Kip should be able to eat up. See, dude, Rain Dance coming up clutch. Let's keep throwing these at him. Yes, another paralyzed. Do I step up here? No, I think I just keep going with these uh, dragon breaths. I have four left, but the pressure is just taking down. We might be able only be able to get off one more. He's gonna go here. But he's still paralyzed. I'm gonna go for another one. And I can start quick attacking away from a distance. Go T off on him. Alright, so water gun. Take him out. Come on, yo. We gotta be close. Oh, we did! Yes, let's go! We played that one so well. So, good thing I changed. Got Rain Dance on it. Sent that right off the bat so the water moves did more damage and the fire moves did less. So, that was a great call by me. But the first game we got marked on. He just wing attacked us. Took us out. But Rain Dance definitely coming up clutch. So, like, second time's a charm. Let's get it, dude. I knew I was going to have a hard time with it the first time. Like, I knew it because of uh, how my team's set up here. He just dominates. He just dominates. This place dominates. But let's go. We take out Moltres and get a big win. Get a big boss battle win. And I believe we move on to another place and we verse Articuno soon. The third legendary bird. Let's go, dude. Moltres looks sick, though. He's one, probably one of my favorite legendary birds, in my opinion. I like Zapdos and uh, Moltres, I think, over Articuno. I don't know. But look how cool that is. Look at that thing. Sending blazes everywhere. Let's go. And then we talk about him about the calamities that are going on. But I think it's so cool how we just verse legendary birds and all this. This is why I'm a big fan of this game. Like we verse a bunch of different legendary Pokemon in this game, and this is just the beginning of them. Because I know we verse like Rayquaza, Groudon, all them good stuff. This is just so hype. It is just so hype. But we should get moving along here. We beat this place. Such a tough, that was a tough boss battle. That honestly was. That thing had a tons of HP. I didn't think he, I thought he was going to take out my Mudkip and just start storming on me. But luckily, we were able to paralyze him twice there as well and get rolling. But this dude just keeps like flapping his wings and screaming. Am I doing something wrong? I'm just pressing A, my dude. There he goes. He flies up in the air. Farewell, yo. Peace out, Moltres. That was sick. That was the coolest boss battle we had so far. Coolest one, hands down. We have a little sad face. Phew. Ew, that was scary. 
But I'm glad Moltres understood us. That was key. Anyway, let's get off the Mount Blaze ourselves. Yeah, yo, we gotta get out of here. I'm a grass type chilling here, just getting murked on. But good thing I did have Rain Dance in my storage. That was probably key of winning this. It was definitely key. Well, let's go. We start walking down Mount Blaze. We're getting off of it now. Mudkip's in here. Pant, pant. We sure walked a lot. Yeah, I'm bushed. Let's rest up. Yeah, yo, let's take a quick nap. Eat a snack or something. Granola bars. Get us back. A few's fantastic. Oh, look, Trico, look over there. Ooh, was that Mount Blaze? Is that where we just at? See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way. Yeah, yo, we walked all the way down that mountain, yo. These boys' quads have to be like rocks, dude. These guys have been walking for miles. They walked through dungeons, mountains, rivers, everything. I don't even know what I just said, though. I'm just talking to my kid by now. But I'm ready to get rolling. I am ready to get rolling, dude. That was a sick boss battle. I really like Mount Blaze. Only if I had a fire Pokemon or something other than Trico. But it's good that I'm able to kind of like pick what moves I want Mudkip to use. Because I was going to just switch to Mudkip and use Rain Dance, but then I couldn't use a move with Trico. So I could switch the move, step back with Trico, so I couldn't get hit with Ember. But the, I figured out from the first battle, the way we were positioned one next to another with a space in between, he could just throw a Wing Attack or an Ember right down in the middle and hit us both. So that wasn't good. So taking that step back was probably our best bet. And then setting that Rain Dance, boom. Beautiful. Beautiful, dude. Let's get it. And so Trico's harrowing journey continued, seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. To the north! <laughs> they crossed row upon row of mountains. Forded it, fed in swamps. Whoa. And scaled frozen cliffs. And we are animals. Till finally Trico's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. Ooh -wee. Looks like we're going towards where Ar Articuno is. Going towards the snow. Let's see. Whoa. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the snowy areas. I've always been a fan in any game. Birds cold. Hachoo! <laughs> this boy sneezed. Yuck, my nose is running and it's freezing. This boy's got the corona rona. <laughs> Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep snow is? I haven't seen any other Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Uh, now, now we know a Pokemon's gonna pop out. Bro, it's Absol! I love Absol. Absol's so sick. I think she's one of the cooler Gen 3 Pokemon. Because of course when they gave her the Mega Evolution in Gen, what was it, 6? That was cool. Those Mega Evolutions. I'm still a big fan of like all Mega Evolutions. But let's get rolling to our next spot. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to go down here. We saw Absol up there. Oh, I don't really know what, what's going on with Absol. Chica, look. See that? Those trees are frozen. We got frozen trees, boy. Yo, that honestly looks dope. That's so cool. But, yo, I can't wait for the next place now. But ice is still super effective to me. God, man. All these birds do work on me. Flying, ice is super effective to me. I think this is where we go up and we verse Moltres. Not Moltres, Articuno. That is dope. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going. Dang, dude, I have to get some items. I wish we were back at town. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be walking into this icy dungeon and taking on the third and final bird, Articuno. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.